them in no compromise for other guys. Yes. No compromise. We we take back our country. Um, Say it anything, yeah? Yeah, okay. Mm, I'm uh, uh, serving to my country uh, in the National Guard of Ukraine. And <laughs> my warfare experience is about two months in the zero line with fighting with orcs. We're standing in the front line and doing so some stuff, kind of intelligence with drone. It's a scary thing because I'm mobilized. Before what starts, I working in uh, IT. I QA engineer, game development, uh, s small firm. I working. I like my life. Uh, when war starts, uh, I decide to fight for my country because. Um, Russians take my life, normal life, uh, civilian life. I want it back. I want to also drink smoothie, <laughs> drink uh, green tea and do games. Mm. Right now I'm uh, working to destroy my enemy, yeah. <laughs> kind of like that. Uh, Right now, we are learning some stuff from our partners. We are very, we really like this new uh, information because in our country is um, lots of Soviet knowledges. It's right. old and like Russians do war, we don't want to do this. <laughs> Our government also, I'll, I like it. What Ukraine is be a different in the new century, L like that. Mm. Um, you want to yeah. ask something? Um, can you tell me about your experience on the zero line and what you and your team have done? We uh, trying to get uh, information on the front line with uh, uh, drones and uh, correct the target of the enemy communication line, kind of um, armor, vehicles. Uh, ammo and just working, <laughs> Stein, uh, trying to survive. Uh, that's uh, di different between uh, uh, when you're civilian and living in a, a battle area like city Kharkiv. That's Russians uh, firing the shells uh, from. Every they e everywhere they. I'm sorry. No, it's perfect. Man. Everywhere is um, every, every target. Every uh, target it's uh, so random. Yes. When you um, are fighting on a front line, uh, Russian shelling you. And trying to kill you. There's a big difference. It's uh, this uh, thoughts uh, when you are frontline will never stand you alone. Mm -hmm. It's every time with you, you're trying to survive and work for result to be a great soldier for your country. And how and much success are you having? 
<laughs> I, I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> I because war ends, uh, and and I don't want to know about and think about because uh, war is uh, uh, some experience I have, lots of experience, but this information Russians can also can solve. <laughs> yes. So when this war is over, you just want to forget this chapter? Yeah, I want to forget. I want to live a normal life. I came at war to bring my life back. That's all mm. I want. I, I don't need uh, uh, any of what. <laughs> if I need, need it to my country, I do it. Russians do the big mistake that uh, they um, angry of uh, people like me. Before war starts, people like me don't care about army and warfare and other stuff. When uh, war starts, the middle class is the people who trying to get money to be more educated. Uh, they don't care about army, warfare, and other. When they started, people like me going on a war and trying to kill it. Mm. And should the Russians be scared of that? I think uh, Russians is very... Uh, they brain was <laughs> all corrupted by uh, propaganda. Mm. Uh, the government telling him about is a visual it's all normal their reality is different yeah. they don't care they even know about our thoughts they don't think government decide for for them uh, we don't live like that yeah why, why someone want to decide our l lives and lifestyles for us we we don't like it when our government do this and came from nowhere trying to do and say we save you we save yourself kind of like that are you afraid to potentially die for your country for ukraine uh, I'm thinking about that, and we we can na se vole Božja. Jak što na se vole Božja? It's uh, say. What happens happens. What happens what happens, happens. happens. God is. If God needs us, mm. they will take you, even in a bunker. kind of like that yeah. and how is the morale how, how are you and your men how are you feeling you we feeling uh, situationally yeah when it's hard morale is dropping but our commander is a great man he do it best for guys like me because uh, he also doing a civilian thing and he knows about our lifestyle and do it uh, best what he can and uh, we are all mobilized guys we are lots of professional guys who be a build a structure developers internet uh, we can do anything mm. it's cool cool that uh, we have a uh, lots of mobilized and volunteer guys in our battalion right now uh, so kind of like that we also, our volunteers and civilian guys uh, help us. If uh, volunteers don't help us, it wars will end 
at a five day, but our civilians helping us. Russian don't have it because they they don't care about situation in here and in Russia. Yeah. So are these civilians in occupied territory helping, or are these civilians um, just here helping? Civil civilians help us. Yeah. Yeah. It's a volunteers, grandmas, oh, yeah. uh, elder people uh, in the front line. Yeah, they scared about uh, to be captured by Russian. Uh, this uh, woman gives us in Andreevka. Mm. And uh, because people is afraid. Yeah. And say it to every soldier that gave volunteers also give this. Uh, people scared and, tr and think about that our uh, army is defend, army trying to defend and capture enemy mm. to, to, f to let the Ukraine free, free again mm. <laughs> without wa warfare or something. And do you believe that Ukraine will be free again? Yeah, N not right now, per time, but be ready to fight for country. And what else would NATO need to supply you with for oh. the West? <laughs> NATO supply is <laughs> very good. If we don't get uh, and low and javelin when war starts, uh, we will lose, I mm. think. NATO is great helping us. Mm. But what Re do you need now? Does NATO need a supply? Anymore? Oh, more, more artillery. Yes. Mars, it's a great thing. Russians, they are, they are dying. There's a mo m modern uh, weapon, weapon of 21st century. It's super. <laughs> Do you feel any empathy for the Russians who are dying? Any sadness? I don't feel empathy. I'm just trying to do my job. Yes. I'm on a job, on a duty. I have a lots of things. I, I'm trying to not thinking about that. Yes. It's like work. It's uh, trying to be more professional. But uh, yes, we also thinking. But um, some guys angry because uh, of picture of what Russians do with our soldiers, with our national heroes Azov, and our ZSU soldier. But they want wanted to do this that we are angry Ukrainian Nazi, but we don't, we, we not like that. We, we just <laughs> want to live in a world that you can go and do your job, uh, take a knowledge from university, uh, have a baby, have a, house it's a normal living mm -hmm. we just want to this like like this <laughs> like that <laughs> just want to have how it should be for an independent state oh excuse me you just want ukraine to be independent democratic yeah like yeah yours. yeah that that uh, Ukraine was uh, independent and democratic mm. because our people don't don't like uh, be a um, slave uh, like like slave yes. yeah would you be against any compromise to end the war if there was a compromise of land of Ukrainian land but it meant peace. Uh, uh, excuse me, can you repeat? I not understand. Uh, if there was a deal to end this conflict, but it involved Ukraine losing some of their land, would that be something you would accept? Or? I 
actually not concentrate again. No, no, proposition. Rus, no, Russians are Donetsk, Luhansk, Russia. Kiev, Nash. No, compromise, compromise, просто. No, not not compromise. I I I vote for my president, and I. It's the best president we ever had. Yes. He fighting like a lion for and he praying about me and other guys. Yes. Uh, no compromise. He tell them in no compromise for other guys. Yes. No compromise. We we take back our country. Yes. It's I agree with them. Okay, this it's a Ukraine. We have uh, some issues, troubles, but this is our troubles. Yes. Okay. Well, I wish you all the best for the future. Huh? I wish you. I wish you. Thank well. you. And, and thank you too. Mate, and thank you very much for speaking with me. I do really, I do really appreciate it. I'm sad about your queen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, no, sorry you. about that, but it's a new beginning. It's a new I beginning, think. and yes, yeah. thank you for your condolences. Great woman. Queen Elizabeth the second. Yeah. Thank you very much, mate. I really appreciate it. All really the best. Stay safe. Yeah.